welcome back to my channel my name is laura and today i am going to do a coco daisy journal page so but first i'm going to show you how i store some things and then i will do my page for the day so this is a um traveler's notebook from the planet perfect i have an isabella which is black it's a narrow size and this is what i use for my everyday journaling um in here i have four notebooks and the first notebook is my planner the second notebook is my year planner and the third notebook is what we're going to be writing in so it says enjoy the little things this is a coco daisy insert that i did on my channel and decorated it so um how i work on these books is i take them out because i like to lay the page flat so i'm going to take this out of the book and we're going to work on the next day which is may 4th um, and I'm going to go on here to look to see what our prompt is. And it says, prompt number four, it says summer bucket list. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. So I'm going to go to this page here, which will be the page that I'm working on, May 4. And we're going to um, decorate this page. I'm glad that today's page is nice and plain so I could do whatever I want with it because yesterday's page I had this floral page on there and I had to like cover it up to do my journaling. So this is what I'm going to be working on. Okay so I usually grab my uh, bucket which is this and i have a bucket that i got from it's uh simply tidy i got this from michael's i believe but i ordered it online so it has um it's hard to do this here it has a thing here an opening so you can put your hand in it but it fits in my cube and i have my whole coca daisy kit in here i shoved everything in here um from the kit and i added some of my rubber stamps here that i want to use for the month of may i stuck it in this box so let me share those month of may stamps that i got recently and move this out of the way okay so these are the stamps i want to use for the month of may so i have a few different companies here so the first one is from Coco Daisy. This is their number set. Uh, this is the afternoon tea number set that came in the month of May. Uh, very large numbers. Um, I also ordered and just received the alphabet from Coco Daisy. It's the same size as the numbers. So I have both that I could use. They're very huge. Um, but that's what I got from Coco Daisy. Uh, the next one from Coco Daisy is this one, which is the May um, kit from, um, what is it called? The Coco kit? I don't even remember the name of the kit. Afternoon Tea. <laughs> this is from the May Coco Daisy. And then I got uh, from, I believe this is from ali edwards ali edwards i got the may 2022 uh may kit this is the monthly kit that i get so i want to use this somehow um i this is an old kit this one i pulled out because i want to use in my other my fobonichi i got this is monday this is tuesday stamp set from ali edwards and i labeled it as weeks days and i wanted to use this in my fobonichi i love that it has the story remembering remember this stories from today date of record this is an old set i'm not sure if she still carries it uh and then this is another new one <clears throat> this one is from heidi swap um i've been getting the captions uh this is may captions uh and i have january february march april and i believe may May, this is may and june is coming in the mail i already ordered it so this is from heidi swap and uh the last one that i have here is from ali edwards i belong to the stamp month club 
And uh, this one is about write, writing my story, one little word. So I want to use these for the month of May. These are all my new sets. So, um, yep. So, okay. So that's my stamp sets. Uh, and I want to go back into my Coco Daisy because I want to make the page. Uh, and I also pulled some pens out. Uh, a lot of times you want to know what colors I'm using. I pulled these pens out yesterday. These are all uh, Stampin' Up! pens. This one came from Coco Daisy. This is the midliner that came. She gave us the pink one. Uh, so I pulled these pens out to match this paper yesterday. And these are the names of the colors if you are um, wanted to know. It's called Daffodil Delight is the yellow. Uh, Handsome Hunter is the green. Uh, this one's a very old one, real red. And I pulled out Pink Passion. This is an old one as well. The way I can tell it's old is because the caps look different than the newer pens. So, yeah. So those are the colors that I pulled out to work for this month. And I just put a rubber band around it and shoved it in my bag. So, uh, in that box. So I have them and I don't have to pull out the, paper, the colors out each month. Uh, to do my page. Okay, so we're making a bucket list. So let's get to this page. Um, let's see what I'm going to do. Uh, these stamps uh, are very huge. I don't think I could do bucket, but maybe I could write the word list. L-I-S-T. L-I-S-T should fit, uh, but the bucket's not going to fit. So uh, let's try to do the list and then I will use, let's see, I have, I have these stickers. I have these other stickers that I could write. I have this, I have this one, I have this one. I think that is all the alphabets I have for this month. Uh, yeah. So that's it uh, for alphabets, as far as I know. Do I have another little set? Uh, oh, I have a little set. Okay. So let's try to use these. These all came in the May kit and different. I belong to almost all her kits. So I have uh, these alphabets to use. Uh, and I want to use the alphabet this. So... Let's try to make a list thing. And I'm going to try to make it um, closer up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to write the summer bucket list. And what I thought to do was do the summer in this, bucket in this color, and then list in this color. So it's going to be... Um, the flamingo pink, uh, the blue, and then the pink. So let's see how this works out. And hopefully I like how it comes out. So I'm gonna write summer with this alphabet. Okay, so S, uh, U, And it's okay if I do it a little bit crooked. <laughs> I'm not going to get upset about it. And sorry, I cut myself the other day and my bandage is on my finger. Still, I didn't have to get stitches. Uh, but, alright, so we're going to do summer. And... Go. I got summer. Now I'm gonna go to blue to do bucket. And B U B U C K E T. Okay. E T. 
All right, so we're done with the stickers. And now I'm going to stamp. All right, so these stamps are very huge and I have to be able to make three letters to go on the page. Summer bucket, I wonder if I should do the sideways, down L-I-S-T. You know, I might do that. I think I'm gonna do it down the side. I don't know if you can see that. Instead of doing it, taking up the whole page, I still have room to journal on this side. Uh, let's do that, and I'm gonna do it down the side. I'm using a color theory. Uh, the color is called Flamingo. Uh, and I'm going to stamp it on scrap paper first to make sure that I'm getting the full image um, list. So I'm gonna do the highest part I'm gonna use a little block. Okay. And actually, let's try scrap first. <laughs> and it works out good. That's a good image. All right, so I'm gonna stamp it again, ink it again. And I'm going to go down the side. Okay, and I forgot to get my cleaner. <laughs> I better get that out now. Um, this is my cleaner thing. I got this from Heidi Swap. It's a compact scrubber thing. And I'm going to use this to clean my pad. And ink it up a little bit with this. I got clear stamp cleaner. Okay, and I'm just going to clean my stamp, and that's it. I usually use baby wipes, but my baby wipes are like dry, so I'm not using the baby wipes. All right, so now I'm going to do the I, L-I-S-T, and my phone rings all day long, and... It's crazy. All right, L I clean it. And then I'm going to do the S. and then I have to do the T and I think that worked out good these alphabets are huge so it's like you can't really fit big words onto the page and just get the T there all right so now I got my title So on the bottom, I always like to put the day and the date. I'm gonna use Coco Daisy stickers here. So today we are on Wednesday. So I'm gonna put Wednesday down here. And I'm going to put stamp. This I got on Amazon, it's just a date stamp. And I'm going to stamp that in black with today's date. So I always put the date uh, when I do the page. So that's that. Um, and um, I want to separate the title with something. And you now I have these things. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put the pen across i want to put like something here um yeah i like the pen so the pen is going to go here i like that idea okay so i was thinking the plus things i like to put bullets as i journal 
Uh, and these plus things are really cool. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to use the plus things to put my list. And I haven't thought of my list, so this is going to be fun to write this down. Uh, so I'm going to use these little plus things as my bullet points. All right, so the first thing, my summer bucket list. Hmm, what am I doing? Okay, this is hard to think about. What am I going to do this summer? Okay, so the first one is attend a graduation. Attend the kids' graduation. Okay, number two. Go on some type of vac vacation. Go on a vacation. Cruise would be nice. Okay, and number three. Could have used my numbers, but oh well. Uh, number three, um, send kids off to college. Number four, visit my parents. And swim and pool. And one more. Uh, what else do I want to do this summer? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have my driveway extended so kids could park their car. Okay, so that's my one, two, three, four, five. And now I have this blank spot on the bottom and I'm going to put some kind of decoration there. So I have my die cuts all in here and I'm just going to try to find something that fits there. The teapot, maybe? Um, the flower. Set upside down. I do it that way. The flower looks nice. I, want, I like this one better, I think. Brings out the pink. And I think that's it. Let's put the pink there. I like the pink there. Um, I really like how I could just shovel through this little thing and find the die cuts. So uh, these die cuts have a um, adhesive on them. So you just have to peel it and it is a sticker. That's it. So um, I use a fountain pen and this fountain pen is an Echo. Uh, it's a Twisby Echo and I really like it. I have it filled with black carbon ink uh, so it's supposed to be waterproof, uh, and I really like how bold it writes. So this is the pen that I go to all the time. It does run out of ink quickly, uh, but I do write a lot. So yeah, this is my favorite pen. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little summer bucket list, uh, entry, and I will see you in another video. Bye.
Okay, I'm going to have my driveway extended. So kids could park their car. Okay, so that's my one, two, three, four, five. And now I have this blank spot on the bottom and I'm going to put some kind of decoration there. So I have my die cuts all in here and I'm just going to try to find something that fits there. The teapot, maybe? Um, the flower. Set upside down. I'm going to do it that way. The flower looks nice. I, want, I like this one better, I think brings out the pink and I think that's it let's put the pink there I like the pink there um, I really like how I could just shovel through this little thing and find the die cuts so uh, these die cuts have a um, adhesive on them so you just have to peel it and it is a sticker That's it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little summer bucket list uh, entry and I will see you in another video. Bye. Okay, this is hard to think about. What am I gonna do this summer? Okay, so the first one is attend a graduation. Attend the kids graduation. Okay, number two. Go on some type of a vacation. Go on a vacation. Cruise would be nice. Okay, and number three. Could have used my numbers. But, oh well. Uh, number three, um, send kids off to college. Number four, visit my parents. And swim and pool. do I want to do this summer? Hmm. So now I'm going to check off on the list here that I completed day four, which is nice. This is how I'm keeping track. I just cross it off with a pen and I know which one I'm up to. So anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to write the summer bucket list. And what I thought to do was do the summer in this, bucket in this color, and then list in this color. So it's going to be um, the flamingo pink, uh, the blue, and then the pink. So let's see how this works out. And hopefully I like how it comes out. So I'm going to write summer with this alphabet. So S, uh, U, and it's okay if I do it a little bit crooked. <laughs> I'm not going to get upset about it. And sorry, I cut myself the other day and my bandage is on my finger still i didn't have to get stitches 
uh, but all right, so we're gonna do summer and there you go. I got summer. Now I'm gonna go to blue to do bucket and be you. C-K-E-T. Okay. E-T. All right, so we're done with the stickers. Bucket. And now I'm going to stamp. All right, so these stamps are very huge, and I have to be able to make three letters to go on the page. Summer bucket. I wonder if I should do the sideways down L I S T. You know, I might do that. I think I'm going to do it down the side. I don't know if you can see that. Instead of doing it, taking up the whole page, I still have room to journal on this side. Uh, let's do that. And I'm going to do it down the side. I'm using a color theory. Uh, the color is called Flamingo. Uh, and I'm going to stamp it on scrap paper first to make sure that I'm getting a full image um, list. So I'm going to do the highest part. I'm going to use a little block. Okay. And actually, let's try scrap first. <laughs> and it works out good. That's a good image. All right, so I'm going to stamp it again, ink it again. And I'm going to go down the side. Okay, and I forgot to get my cleaner. <laughs> I better get that out now. Um, this is my cleaner thing. I got this from Heidi Swap. It's a compact scrubber thing. And I'm going to use this to clean my pad. And ink it up a little bit with this. I got clear stamp cleaner. Okay, and I'm just going to clean my stamp, and that's it. I usually use baby wipes, but my baby wipes are, like, dry, so I'm not using the baby wipes. All right, so now I'm going to do the I, L-I-S-T, and my phone rings all day long, and... It's crazy. All right, L I clean it, and then I'm going to do the S. and then I have to do the T and I think that worked out good these alphabets are huge so it's like you can't really fit big words onto the page and just get the T there all right so now I got my title 